In this video, we're going to take an updated look at the 3D Coat AppLink connection plugin for Blender 4.0, which has recently been released. If there is a new update of the AppLink, you will see a prompt like this indicating that the current one is outdated and it's asking, do you want to go ahead and proceed with the update? So I'll click OK. And in this case, there also happens to be an update for 3D Coat that corresponds to the update with the Blender AppLink. Let's go ahead and click on that. And yes, we see some indication here now Blender AppLink supports both Blender 3.x and Blender 4.x. Pay attention that the AppLinks for the third and fourth versions of Blender are different. Generally, though, all you need to do is agree with 3D Coat to copy files. If Blender is installed into the default path, the AppLinks will be updated automatically. So let's go ahead and install that latest update. I'm going to open Blender 4.0 and we want to go to the edit menu, click on preferences and check add-ons and then scroll down to the import section and we will see the 3D Coat app link here. Make sure it's checked if it's not already. The app link is one of the default add-ons that come with every build of Blender. So there is no real installation process. You just have to enable it. I'll go ahead and delete this default cube and we're going to go to 3D Coat. I'm going to try and import into Blender this particular model. So I'll go to the file menu, export to Blender. Where I would typically place it is in the documents directory, app links, 3D Coat, exchange, and then Blender. I'm going to click on this. I'll give it a slightly different name. And in the export dialog, you can just make sure that it's pointed in the folder that you want. Same thing with your textures and you can export with Blender Cycles or whatever other preset you choose. And I don't necessarily need displacement to be exported. And then I'll go ahead and click export. But I just wanted to mention the default unit of measure is meters, and that may come in a little bit large in your Blender viewport. You may try centimeters first and see if that is closer to what you see here in the viewport inside 3D Coat. I'll go ahead and click export. Okay, it looks like it's done. I will go to Blender. You can see that all of our materials are already set up for us and ready to start rendering straight away inside Blender. So that's a quick look at the installation process of the 3D Coat AppLink Connection plugin for Blender. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.